Hello YouTube, it's Das Gregor, and welcome back to a Gen 2 application spotlight. I call it that even though it's not really Gen 2 specific, uh, but the application I want to talk about is just kind of spotlighting it, telling people about it, discussing it for a little bit. So without further ado, I would like to talk about this little cue that's up on my docu box. Q comic book. Now, I've talked to some people out there and I've told them that I enjoy reading comics and I enjoy digital versions because it's so much easier to carry with you. Q comic book works very well in Linux and the files that it runs also work very well on Android tablets with other comic readers so it's great to be able to use it here as well as there now you ask where do you get comics that you're allowed to have that are not copyrighted or you know going to end you up in jail for having material that you've downloaded well there is an excellent location on the internet called the digital comic museum and as it says here, we are the best site for downloading free, public domain, golden age comics. And that is the big spot right there. Public domain. That means that you do not have to worry about someone coming at you with a copyright violation or anything else. That you can download these comics, you can have them on your devices, you can read them and enjoy them, and that's what I like. Most of what I read is public domain. Most of the books that I enjoy were written hundreds of years ago. Yes, partly because I'm a cheapskate. But also partly because there is some very good literature out there that's in the public domain. Now, there are some books that I've paid for and, and I'm willing to support. I don't get things illegally. I look for proper methods to acquire such things. But comic books is one of those things that I remember as a child enjoying to read, having many of them, Sad Sack, Archie, etc. And I love the fact that right here, for instance, at the Digital Comics Library, you can go through and you can find a lot of comics that are now available in the public domain that you can download. Now I've just downloaded for this demonstration a couple just to take a look at them. And you say, how do you read a comic that's been downloaded? Well, once you get the file, let me back out of what I was working in here, I like to put them in my comics directory and I've got the digital comics location right here and I've got two that I've downloaded just for the purpose of this video amazing man comics in the funny pages so we open up Q comic book before we do that how did we get that well if you do an emerge dash s Q comic book you will see that in x11 dash miscellaneous there is this program in gen 2 version 0.9.0-R1 it's very small and if we do a pretend install with emerge we see that there it is there's not too many use flags you have to worry about but it does come in many different language packages which can be helpful for worldwide usage and once of course you've installed it you have this right here so we're going to open that up and it just brings you to a blank page with a few settings so let's go to file open archive and you'll see that it sees the amazing man comics and the funny pages let's open up amazing man comics and immediately you've got that comic book now the nice thing up here is right now we're fitting the screen left to right but if you wanted to change that so that you could see the whole screen if you have a different type of a system that you can rotate the screen you could rotate it on its side and be able to watch and read you can change the so it fits everything here instead of just up and down I like to go this way because I don't mind 
the scrolling to be able to see everything and you can scroll down to the end and if you just keep going it goes on to the next page and you can just kind of scroll through and read and see everything that you need. And I don't want to go through too much of this but as you can see it's not the best of quality but they're probably digital copies of scanned images from the comic books but because you got it from the DCM you know that it is a legitimate source that you don't have to worry about having copyrighted material. You can change pages, of course, right here, going back and forth. For the sake, let's just go ahead and tell it to do full screen so we can see the whole screens. You can even pretty much read it like this. Very handy to have. If you want to change it for, I think, Japanese comic books, there is a way to change that. You can also break it so that you're looking at it full screen. And I'm not sure if we go this route We'll still have to scroll up and down, but you can see it side to side, two pages at a time. Very handy to have if you want to look at it that way. You reverse it. I think this is for the Japanese to go left to right. Or if you just want a single page, you can go back to just a single page. I think you turn this off, turn that off, you're back to single page. You can flip back and forth to rotate with these buttons here. You can zoom in as you like. And I do believe that you can also open up RAR files. Don't quote me on that because it's been a while since I've tested that out. I don't think I have any available on this system. But it is very handy to be able to enjoy those old comics that you might remember from the days. Uh, maybe it's a little too old for some of you younger fellows, but definitely something to enjoy and Q comic book has been around for a while I know I've tried a couple different Linux and uh, those have kind of, those other ones have kind of disappeared but Q comic book is still be around, is still around still available and very fun to use so I hope you enjoyed looking at Q comic book and finding out where you can get material to use Q comic book with I hope you enjoy realizing that you can still revitalize some of those old comic books and be able to read them in the digital age. So until next time, whether it's morning, evening, noon, or night, whatever you're having, I hope you enjoy it. Have a great day, and then start reading those comics all over again. Bye, guys.